The mix of Lydian mode made it easy. After doing a series of videos on what we can learn from Beatles songs and in the middle at the minute of doing a series of videos on what we can learn from Queen songs, we've covered Roger Taylor songs and Brian Mays so far. One of the, the questions that came out after doing a bunch of uh, Skype guitar lessons last night was a few people mentioned once you start talking about Mixolydian it all starts sounding a little bit complicated and it kind of goes over the top of the head and that's really understandable and it's quite a common problem and it's one of the problems with explaining um, music theory is it seems to you use terminologies that seem a little bit difficult to even pronounce let alone understand a word like Mixolydian the assumption is because it's a long word it must be complicated it also seems a little bit abstract. Uh, if you're playing a song that goes D, C and G, does knowing that that's Mixolydian going to help you play it any better? Probably not. So sometimes you can't really see the point of why you're learning it and you kind of put it on the back burner a little bit and think doesn't, it isn't going to really help any. And that's really where the mistake is because we need to see the point of learning this stuff. One of the main things is understanding what's going on in the song. It's going to help you be able to um, know what's going on. It's going to help you uh, memorise it. It's going to help you hear when you're listening to a song to know what's going on. One of the things that's kind of forgotten with musical theory is it tends to be written down on the printed page, but really it's music. is something to be listened to, not really read. Uh, and a lot of people forget that. So it doesn't always translate from the printed page into what you're hearing and be a problem. But if you can hear what's going on, also if you had a chord progression like D, C and G and you wanted to be able to jam over the top of it, if you assumed it was in D major and played a D major scale over the top of that, it wouldn't fit and you'd be confused and wonder why. So there's a lot of reasons why we kind of need to know this. If you wanted to write songs as well, uh, you need to know these tricks. Quite simply, Mixolydian mode is starting on the fifth chord of the key. It's as simple as that. If you start on the fifth chord, you are in Mixolydian. If you called it the fifth mode, probably more people would understand it because it doesn't sound complicated, but that's the name. You can go into the history of the modes, how the ancient Greeks uh, devised uh, the system and all the mode names are named after places in ancient Greece. If we take something like the key of G, for example, we have G, A minor, B minor, C, D, D being the fifth, A minor, F sharp diminished. If we start on the D, go to the C, we're going fifth, fourth, first. So G major. D Mixolydian is the fifth degree of the G major scale. Simple as that. And we see a lot of examples of that. Crazy little thing called love comes to mind. To G, C, to G, to D. So it's you starting on the fifth of the G major scale. So it's in D Mixolydian. Norwegian Wood by the Beatles starts off going D, C, and G. Sweet Home Alabama. <laughs> D, C, I don't know. G, fifth, fourth, first. So that's kind of interesting to, to know. Wanted Dead or Alive by Bon Jovi. The names change. Goes to F, which isn't in the the key. Uh, it's F borrowed from D minor, but that's another issue for another day. But essentially, D C add at nine G C add at nine G. Makes a Lydian. So it's really as simple as that. And now sometimes. Being in Mixolydian isn't always obvious. If you take a song like Heroes, for example, it starts on D. I'll sing it through. I wish, I wish I could swim. So it's gone to G, 
But they do like dolphins Like dolphins can swim I was going to go to say Oh nothing Will keep us together Going to A minor But we can beat them A minor Just forever We could be heroes Just for one day So again it doesn't jump out what by looking at it as being in D Mixolydian, but it's starting on the fifth. Important lesson to learn. Now where things kind of get interesting, if we take a look, these songs don't have to be complicated to be in Mixolydian. Sometimes they can be really simple. And sometimes that's why people don't necessarily look at it because it, they can't see the point because you can seem to manage playing them without knowing it. But if you take a song like Fat Bottom Girls, which we looked at in that video of Brian May's songs, it's D, G and A are the chords in it. That's the basis of the song. I was just a skinner lad, never knew no good from bad. And I left before I left my nursery. And left alone with Big Fat Fanny, she was such a naughty nanny. Big Big Woman made a bad boy out of me. So straight forward first fourth fifth chord progression but when we get to the chorus oh don't you take me home tonight oh down beside that red fire light so it's going from d to c now c is not in the key of d in d major now there's a trick here that we can do if we look at the chords that are in the key of d we have the d E minor, F sharp minor, G and A being the 4th and 5th, B minor in the C sharp diminished. Now a simple trick to find out what chord we could borrow from D mixolydian would be to take the 7th, C sharp diminished, flatten it so it would become a C and make it major, C major. That would be the chord borrowed. Is that correct? Well, we know that uh, D mixolydian is from G major. What chords are in that? Fourth chord being the C. So we know that that is the correct answer. So that's the trick and that's the simplistic way of doing that. Uh, knowing that if you were in D major and you wanted to borrow from D mixolydian, you take the seventh, flatten it, make it a major, that's the chord. And it saves having to go through and go cross eye trying to work it out on your fingers. Does that work with other keys? Yes. If you took the key of C, for example, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, the seventh chord is a B diminished. If we flatten that, it would become B flat, make it a major. We've got a B flat major chord. Does that work out when we work it out um, going the long way around? C mixolydian comes from the F major scale, so F, G, A, B, C, so C is the, the fifth there. If we go through the chords there, what chords do we have in the key of F? F, G minor, A minor, B flat, so there you go, B flat is in C mixolydian, so we can borrow that chord. In it, you find that it fits, C, F, B flat, G. Now it's a chord that isn't in the key, but you've borrowed it and it fits. It has a certain sound to it. Handy to know. Uh, so what we've seen there is we can have a major key. We can borrow from the mixolydian. Now we can do the complete opposite way around. We can be in D mixolydian and we can borrow from the major key. And we'll see this example in Sweet Child of Mine. So that as we looked at before, D... Now and then when I see her face It takes me away to that special place If I stay too long Probably break down and cry Fairly straightforward, D mixolydian Now we're going to go to A for the chorus uh, 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 C to D And again uh, 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 Sweet child of mine Now we're going to A there a is not in the key of, uh, is not in D mixolydian. So what do we do? We take a look at D major. D, E, F, G and A. So 
the A is the is in the D major scale, so it's borrowed from D major, and that's why it kind of fits, but it has a unique sound to it. So what we've learned from that is we can have a major key borrowed from the mixolydian, or we're going to be mixolydian and borrow from the major key. And we see this in loads of examples if you watch the video on Brian May songs. Sweet Lady. Goes E, D, A. And then on the verse starts E. Uses the B. So he's gone in from E mixolydian to E major. We see it in um, Tie Your Mother Down. Does something very, very similar. So I hope that explains it. I hope it simplifies it. Sometimes when you uh, explain in theory, you can kind of get a little bit lost in it, and then it all starts sounding like uh, you start going cross-eyed and a little bit, but uh, you can't understand what's going on. I hope that's simplistic. I hope I've done a job of that. Any questions, let me know in the comments. And as always, thank you for watching.